How do you make sure that everything else other than the vehicle is better than everybody else? <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. This is the One Percenter Podcast. I'm here today with Jeff Bachelor. Now listen up, all right? You don't want to miss this one. Me and this guy, have, we have a journey that's insane, super cool. And by the way, it's a quick journey. What, about two years you've been training with me? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Two years. Jeff's going to make 500 grand this year. Now I want you to understand something, all right? He's in Canada. He's not even in the U.S. And every day we hear people say, Oh, I can't make money. I can't do this. Listen, one time me and my buddy, Jeff, and I'm going to let you go. And I'm like, I've got some questions for you. And I want you to tell your story. Yeah. And I want you to listen up. He's an underdog. Yeah. Am I right? Absolutely. Okay. He's not on Wolf on Wall Street sitting here, slick back hair in a suit. Look at him. He's chill. He's Jeff freaking Bachelor. Absolutely. He's got his own identity. He knows who he is. And he flies from one country to another to come train with me. We did personal training about two years ago. And everything is just elevated since then. He goes, he goes insane. He trains like a savage. The funny thing is, even the people in his own store that are sitting next to him don't get it. They're watching him make all this money. They're watching him serve his customers at a level, which we'll get to, that no one serves them at. He's doing the social media, branding, marketing, closing, negotiating, speaking skills, everything. The belief, everything we preach and teach. This guy trains daily to improve, and he's going to make 500 grand this year. But listen, I want to say something real quick. One time, I go to this uh, this big running deal. It's about 10 miles, 12 miles. It's mutter, right? And when we're done, they always give away like a donut or a bagel or something, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the end of the race. Yeah. And there was this big, long line of people that were running, and they were giving away bagels. And it's all perspective, and I want you to get this before I get with him, is – I'm looking there and I'm like, dude, free bagel, right? And my buddy's like, line's too long. I'm like, free bagel. <laughs> He's like, line's too long. Yeah. It's so funny. I saw bagels, right? He saw the line, yep. right? And I think a lot of people see the line. They see what's preventing them from getting what they want instead of seeing what can help them get what they want. And Jeff Batchelor flies all the way down here to Scottsdale, Arizona to come train with us. He brings his amazing wife, and he trains daily on our Andy Elliott All Access 365 training program. Now, I'm going to turn it over to Jeff, but I want to tell you just right out the gate, if you want to see access to what he trains on daily, shoot me a text, write down my number, it's 918 918- 2100254 9182100254 Jeff logs in he can go do whatever the hell he wants to do he's on all the calls and then he even makes the trips to fly down here with his wife which we talk about take your family with you so let's give it up guys Jeff Bachelor Jeff I'm going to let you uh just tell us who you are where you came from why the hell you're so passionate about what you do and then really why do you invest in yourself like why like what's the secret bud how you making 500 grand and the other other guys like when 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 yeah thanks so, so thanks so much for the awesome introduction stoked to be down here um i'm actually from ottawa ontario on the east coast of canada and then uh thanks to my wonderful wife we actually moved all the way up to the arctic of canada i live in fort mcmurray right now uh, i work out of a small a uh, small score store our town did you only- say small store a uh, small ish store like so a- so they don't sell ten thousand cars a month and you're really lucky by the way how many how many cars does your store sell a month, roughly? About a hundred. Oh, he's not. We can't go. But he's at a big store. So if you're at a thou, if you're at a hundred car store, come on, man, you can make five hundred grand at a hundred car store, at a fifty car store, at a five thousand car store. Am I right, Jeff? Absolutely. I just want to make that clear in case somebody's like, well, he must be at a really big store. Uh, absolutely, and we range anywhere between you know six to twelve salespeople at our store. So I mean, there's not necessarily like some people would look at that as not a lot to go around, but I see it as you know. Um, there's a lot to go around. Absolutely, I want, <laughs> I, I, I want every single one. And I mean, just to set the record straight, I mean, every single time 
I've sat with you, I've met with you, I've been on calls with you or your coaches. You know, I'm passionate about how do I help more people? How do I get myself in front of more people? Because it's never been about the money. You know, like you might say, like, I made a lot of money this year. Hey, you know what? I haven't given enough away. You know, I gave $20,000 to my local community this year. I bought my mother a car and I still haven't given enough. I'm passionate about helping people get into vehicles because it's allowing me to realize my dreams. And you he know? sent your wife to school. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, he did a lot. So my goal is he doesn't earn to be like, oh, I'm going to get a Lamborghini. No, he earns and he actually fills up his heart by giving it away. You know what I mean? And, and that's what I love about him. And by the way, if you care about people, right? You'll always have enough money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I sometimes I think that my dreams are a little bit messed up because, like, I'm one of those guys that someday I want to open a school for underprivileged kids. You know, I want to give an organ. I want to be able to take a year off just so that I can do that stuff. Like, these are weird dreams that I want to accomplish, and I need a tool to accomplish those goals. I used to work as a server. There's no way I can buy my mom a car on a server's uh, income. So, you know, mm-hmm. selling cars, you know, gives me an awesome income so that I can fulfill these dreams that, that I've wanted to do, can, you know? Can we say something, Jeff? And this is important, okay? Every man and woman, all they ever look for in their life is an opportunity. Yep. Am I right? Absolutely. He was a server. He said it wasn't, it wasn't capable, it wasn't a vehicle capable of making him enough money to do these big dreams. If you're in sales right now and there's somebody sitting in a store just like yours and they're sitting there saying, we can't make enough money where we're at. I can't fulfill my dreams where I'm at. Is their store the problem or is there poor thinking the problem? Which one? (laughs) They're thinking 1000%. Remember that. So if you're watching this, listen to me. Make a decision on the call right now, okay? I'm going to reach out, use the Elliott Group as a resource to go to another level. And number two, I'm going to I'm going to get rich in my mind, okay? Because you don't, until you decide to think great thoughts and become rich in your mind and change your mindset, what you see is what you get. And he sees opportunity. Some of you see trouble, problems, and challenges. He's like, opportunity. You're like, problem. He's like, opportunity. Absolutely. Right. So I wanted to say that because that's what you see, man. So when you got in the automotive space, which no matter where you're at, if you're in the automotive space, dude, like wake up. It rains money for the professional, but the amateur drowns. hundred percent. Right? Yeah. I mean, if you're, if you were set out with the task of digging a pool, you know, and you got a spoon, that's working as a server, you know, mm. working with a shovel, that's being a salesperson and training with Elliot and being a master, you know, relentless, unstoppable beast. You're bringing in the bulldozer, you know, you're coming in like this pool is going to be quick. done in a day. You know, I'm paying off my debt. I'm sending my wife to school. I'm buying that car for my mom. I'm giving back to my community. Like, I'm going to get this done in a month. Forget a year. Like, let's get this done. Can I ask you a question? How do you feel when you grow? Because I think a lot of people, they've tried to sit down and study. They've tried to maybe maybe get into some kind of training. And honestly, like, it's a little tough for them. Like, they can't seem to find out. They can't seem to find that, like, that groove. Like, I'm not enjoying this, right? Is it kind of like when you first start doing it? Like, going to the gym in the beginning, you're a little sore. You're not really sure you want to do this. And you see the results. And then you just become addicted to it and go crazy. Or is it something where you're like, dude, I don't like sitting in Okay? Like, so I'm getting out. Yeah. And I'm going to become addicted to stuff that successful people were addicted to. And I'm just going to follow the stuff that they did because the roadmap's already been set. Yeah, a right? thousand percent. Like, you can get addicted to anything that you want. You know, like, I spent 10 years as a functioning alcoholic because I was addicted to just partying and raging and, you know, spending all nights of the hours out and just going to extremes in one direction, you know, and then I took a hard turn and I was like, you know what? I got to bring some good into my life because like there's way too many close calls that thankfully have worked out in my favor, but like I need karma on my side. I need some good stuff on my side. 2016, I started a clothing company to give back to animal shelters, you know, just out of left field. I adopted a dog and that karma, I feel like I swear to it. That's what brought my wife into my life. And she's like, wow, this guy can do good. And I was like, holy crap. Like, 
doing good worked out. How do I do more good stuff? You know, like what else can I do that's good? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna volunteer for Big Brothers Big Sisters. I'm gonna I'm gonna donate money back and like see how much good I can bring into my life. So I'm high off helping. You know, like I'm gonna did, give did y'all give catch give. That? So, so if you're taking notes, and, and you should be, okay, because this isn't for entertainment. This is for you to change your life. I want you to notice he said he took a hard right, okay? Why don't you take a hard right today, okay? And then secondly, he said that he found that money, cars, houses, partying, all that stuff was exciting. But once he started helping people, what he felt in his heart was, was more, and, and it became more alive, and he felt more on fire than any of that stuff. Because he started helping people, which is what we do. We don't rip people off. We don't sell people. Sh- we help people. Absolutely. That's what we do. And now he's more alive than ever. And if you're looking at him right now, <laughs> some of you are like, I'm not built that way. Hold on. They're thinking that. They're like, I'm not built that way. When you say you're not built that way, if you mean he pays for training, if you mean he flies to another country to, to go and get around people and get in proximity to people who have what he wants. And some of them may be an hour away. Mm-hmm. They may be five hours away. You flew from another country. If you mean he's built different by he wakes up earlier, goes to bed later, cares more, asks questions, right? Yeah. Does the work. Yeah, maybe he's built different, but he ain't any different than you. Okay. He's just doing the things that losers don't do. Yeah. And I mean, this light bulb was, was such a, like a breakthrough for me that a couple years ago, I made a YouTube channel with a daily video being like, yo, listen to me. Like this works. Watch me do this every single day. Then I wrote a book and I'm telling people, I'm just like, look, you are your biggest obstacle, you know, get it, get over yourself, get the ego out of the way. You know, you can do anything you freaking want, just freaking do it. And I mean, some people look at me and they're just like, Jeff, like you sell cars. I'm like, dude, I'm putting dreams in driveways. Isn't, I'm that, isn't that funny when they say, Jeff, you sell cars. And I want to say that because you need to become passionately in love with what you do. And you need to stop caring about what other people think about you. Cause first of all, people that judge you don't care about you. So why would you care what they think? Do you feel me a little bit stupid, isn't it? So, but Jeff right here, Jeff goes, dude, I'm in love with selling cars. So I go to a, um, an event. It's in a gala one time with my wife yep. and there's all these people and it's like $10,000 a plate. We donated. We wanted to get in that room and help some people. Yeah. I wasn't there to, to really communicate with anybody. I wasn't there. I didn't want anything out of it. Mm-hmm. I didn't want a connection. We wanted to give, but yep. we went to the dinner, right? Mm-hmm. And we go to dinner and we're ready to leave. And people are walking up like, hey, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Mm-hmm. Right? They're networking or, yep. or whatever, right? So um, I say, I sell cars. And I remember every, 100% of the people's faces, right? We're like, you sell cars? And th- the guy to the right of me is like, I'm a chiropractor. The guy to the right of him is like, I'm a doctor. The guy to the right of him is like, I'm a lawyer. And <laughs> we have a million dollar house. It's paid off. We've got plenty of money in the bank. we got the best life ever. We've got Lambos in the driveway. And I sell cars. You know, it, it's quite funny how people want to judge the automotive. And the automotive is one of the best things in the world for you, your family, your future, being financially free and everything, as long as you become undeniably the best in the top one percenter. And by the way, you're an underdog and so am I. So if somebody's watching this right now, I want to explain this to you. When I hired people, when I hired people, I hire people who aren't experienced. I hire people who are hungry and who want an opportunity. If I had a guy educated over here, educated with experience, And he's like, I've been doing this for 10 years. And a guy over here goes, hey, I'm hungry and I want an opportunity. I'm hiring that guy. Screw that guy. No disrespect. Sorry, veterans. I love you. But that hungry guy, this guy's on fire. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care how good you are. I'll ask you one simple question. Are you coachable? Absolutely. Done. Done. We got a long ways to go together. Absolutely. We're going to the top. So I want you to see, as he said, he got in the car business. So let's go back to that. Yeah. But a lot of people, you said that they said, what do you do? And you said, sell cars. And they looked at you like you're stupid. And you were like, yes, took another soul. And guess what? If they came and saw what was going on in your life. And by the way, today you may sell cars and you're not great. 
You weren't great until you became great. A thousand percent. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. So who are you going to become? Let's roll. Yeah, I mean, daily training, working. I mean, you can put comparables in every single thing. Like, nobody who plays baseball just woke up one day and started hitting home runs. Mm-hmm. Like, they practice, they train, they do it, and that's how you're going to, gonna, you know, get to the top, you know? And refusing to be coachable, refusing to be open, refusing to believe that there's recipes and instructions and things that you can add to yourself is just ignorant you know like i want to have every single tool in the chest i'm not going to say i got a hammer and a screwdriver let's go to war i'm like no man like give me every single weapon there is out there because this tool of selling cars is how i'm going to make my dreams happen your vehicle And, and my dreams are to help people. You know, when I put uh, a single uh, mother in a vehicle so she can safely drive her kids around, when I put a worker into a reliable vehicle so he'll never not show up to work, when I help a little boy um, realize his sports car dream or his truck dream, when I, you know, help somebody make financial decisions so they don't go into bankruptcy, like selling cars, man, that's the big, well, the second biggest financial decision of most people's lives. I think I'm helping the, them with. Them. I think it's the biggest. I'm helping them. You know, why I think it's the biggest because you can have a you can have a house, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, but if you don't have a car, you can't get to work, and if you don't have a job, you can't keep your house. Can't drive your house. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. so I think you gotta have a car first. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now listen. I do want to say something. Uh, guys, go ahead and comment below right now, and I want you to comment below. Do me a favor. Do you think that he wants training, or do you think he demands it? I want you to I want you to remember what I just said. I demand training. I want it. I have to have it. I need more every day. I need my fix. Mm-hmm. Like a drug addict. 100%. You need your fix. If somebody is elevating their life, leveling up, going to another gear, and they have something that you don't have, dude, I'm on them like stink on shit to figure out what they know, how they know it, and will you teach it to me? 100%. Will you? And that's the goal, is that it's 2023. It's all about resources. The rich are resourceful. The poor don't have resources. If somebody's sitting there right now and they don't have what they want, it's only because they haven't attached to a resource that will help them get what they want. That's it. So do you want it? Are you hungry in your heart? Do you want the opportunity? Yes. Attached to a resource. And this guy's sharing a story right now. I'm telling you, wait till we do our next one next year. (laughs) That one's going to be scary. And by the way, I did one with you. Um, I did one with you last year, Yeah. right? Yeah. And um, I think, uh, you know, it's funny, but I did one with you last year, and I think that you were the number one Chrysler Jeep Dodge uh, salesman in Canada. Yep. Is that right? Yep. So if you're a Chrysler store, you can look him up. He's number one. Yep. Am I right? Yep. There's a top performers list and been there for three years in a row. Oh, <laughs> Jeff Batchelor. Living, right? Coming out of a town that only has 50,000 people. What? You're saying there's not 50 million and that's how he's making it? No. Oh, man. So he's got a lot of things against him. He's in a smaller store. He's in a small town. It's freezing ass cold where he's at. Yes. Which, like, I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona, right? We got palm trees, mountains. This I, guy. I got both. I got minus 50 and I got plus 50. Hold on. Did he? Like, in the th- summer, you don't even want to touch a vehicle, let alone sit in it. And in the winter, I mean, you got to have a booster pack in your jacket just so you can dethaw the vehicle, you know, and hope that you only got to show one vehicle, not 10. Did you hear what he said? You got to carry around a booster pack. <laughs> I mean, by the way, you can't make this shit up. This is real. This is his life. And some of you would be like, oh my God, that sounds awful. Some of these guys can't carry around a notebook. He carries around a notebook and a booster pack just to jump cars to get ready to show them. Yep. Am I right? Absolutely. Okay. Hey, Jeff. Three things. If you could give a couple tips, maybe two or three tips to anybody watching this right now, yep. tactically how they could elevate their life, truly um, create a, a good financial income, yep. um, a good mindset, yep. and some really good habits. So we'll say mindset, one for mindset, yep. one for skill set, one for habits. What advice would you give them? So so mindset, I mean, you talk all the time about we're in the era of the worst salesperson ever. And when I started selling cars, again, it was the first thing like salesperson, like scummy, back lot, mm-hmm. whatever. So I was like, you know what? The only way I'm going to make it in this biz is being the exact opposite of what everybody expects. Well said. You know, like if you show up 
on a lot and you know guys got a blazer hacking a dart you know standing you know leaning against the building or do you want the guy who's in a golf shirt and sneakers and peppy and already you know crawling underneath the so car so you're saying enthusiasm is good don't be like dead bob like it, most sales people enthusiasm is real good but here's the tips that i give every single new staff that starts at my store and i did it on the video a year ago but think of it when you go into a restaurant okay Every server in that restaurant has got the same cook making the food. It's got the same prices on the menu, the same opportunity to get things right or wrong, same opportunity for burnt food to come out, same opportunity for the customer to either like or not the burger, whatever else it is. Yet one server leaves every night with all the tips. Damn! Who's that server? Are you that person at the dealership? Doesn't matter what the truck costs. Doesn't matter what the payments are. How do you make sure that everything other than the vehicle is better than everybody else's? Hey, did you hear? Did you hear what he said? Don't miss that. Write that down. How do you make sure that everything else, underline other than, the vehicle? How do you make sure that everything else other than the vehicle is better than everybody else? So you may have the same 2022 Dodge Ram, 13,000 miles, black black leather interior as ABC Motors down the road. He don't care. Yeah. He don't care about that price. You know what he cares about? He cares about what can he do? What is the show that he can put on for his client? Yeah. How high can he serve him? Says it right on my computer. I'm the most helpful man on the planet. You come Woo! in and see me. I will I will die by trying my best. Because hey, Who believes it? Yeah, absolutely. Look at his eyes. Yeah. He's like a lion. 100%. I lost everything else. Mindset, what was the next one? Okay, so that's mindset. So skill set. What about skills? If somebody's like, hey, how do I get skill set? What would you say? 100%. Find a mentor. Find a training program. Find the best training program out there. And why, uh, hey, why did you choose our training program, by the way? Everybody's like, well, there's all these other guys. Why, why choose us? Why? Well, to, to, to be absolutely honest, three years ago, I'm, I, I was so dead set on passing this heart, this energy, this knowledge to other people. I started creating my own training program. I recorded hundreds of hours of videos. I got a website. I did everything. And in my market research, I stumbled across you. And it was right in the time that your first course was coming out. And I was like, forget mine. You know, this is me. This is the energy I like. This is the tribe I like. This is the beliefs I have. This is a business that cares way more about the people than any amount of money ever will. Mm -hmm. These are my guys. This resonates with me. And ever since, you know, jumping on board, you know, everything's just grown exponentially. So, so your life has grown. Yeah. Our company's grown and mm -hmm. we haven't ever disconnected, have we? Yeah. No, not at all. When you come here, do you feel like family? Absolutely. I brought my wife down this time because I'm like, yo, get in this family. What she think? She loves it. She loves it. She even worked out with us. Absolutely. She even worked out twice. Yeah. Cool. Just total, crushed it. Total family shift, which is what it's all about. right? Honestly, never been prouder of her. Just, you know, just even just seeing the spark in her eye from bringing her around these people. Like I just, I know, I know that she's on fire. Oh, it's just the beginning. Yeah. It's just the beginning. And, and we love talk her. about growing. Love together. you, baby. <laughs> yeah. We love you, baby. All right. So, so we got mindset. Okay. We got skill set, and then let, let's, let's finish off with habits. Yeah. What would you tell these, these guys? How, how do you create great habits? You know what? There is, no skill more important to learn than discipline. Discipline. Write that down. Discipline is doing something you don't like to get what you want. Hold on. You're telling me discipline isn't doing what you like and making sure that when you want to do something, make sure it's something you don't want to do. You're saying it's doing the shit that nobody wants to do and making sure that stuff gets done first. Yeah, absolutely. So you're saying outbound calls to customers? <laughs> necessary I, what i gotta make cold calls you're saying follow up what you said log your customers in the crm what yeah you're saying like what man and post your customers on social media every time they buy be good to everybody you, you, have a great attitude all day long you, you gotta look at these 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 non-negotiables these must-haves non as negotiables right as, as the highlights and the best parts of your day Anybody who doesn't like follow-up, what the heck is wrong with you? You know why people don't like follow-up? Do you know why? Why? Because they're amateurs. And they don't think it's an income-producing activity. When it is the number one income-producing activity. You know what we didn't even mention? 
This is going to blow everybody out there's mind. At my store, I get no internet leads, no walk-ins, and no inbound phone hold calls. Hold on, so you're not the house mouse? I don't get any of those. So Okay, hold on, hold on. We got to recap here just to make sure. So no internet leads, okay? No phone pops. Everybody else gets those. Everybody else, because he just, he's like, hey, you guys can have this stuff. And he self-generates his own leads. You bet. And because of who he is, it's the law of attraction. He comes in every day instead of being like a fisherman sitting on his ass waiting for something to bite. You're like a lion hunting, aren't I, you? I'm, well, I would like to say I'm a farmer. I take care of my people and they give me everything else that I need. I'm 90% repeats and referrals. Repeats and referrals. That's By the 90% way, of my and business. And when you started your business, yeah. you can't be 90% repeat and referrals. No. You have to bust your ass. You have to do everything you can to retain and sell one car. Listen to me. This is called exponential growth. What he's talking about. You sold eight cars. Yep. You took care of those eight customers. Yep. And then those eight people came back again. The next month you sold eight cars, take care of those customers. Those eight came back again, eight more cars. Those eight came back again. And eventually the compound effect created a massive customer base who all loves you. Yep. You love them and, and you serve them and they're loyal to you. Yeah, those follow your tribe. Those follow up call, calls, like you don't just when you're selling the customer the vehicle, show them you love them. You love them the month after, three months after, six months after, one year after. Like I send Christmas cards every year with me and my wife and my you dogs everything. on a couch. Hey, I him, mean, his wife, and his dogs. So you're saying <laughs> not in front of your favorite car. No. So you show them you're real. Absolutely. You show them you care. Guys, listen. And we try to keep these uh, timely. So this is Jeff Batchelor. Out of Canada, number one Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram salesman in Canada. Number one, he's an underdog. Okay, he's no different than you. Nothing extra, nothing special. He cares. Okay, he's got energy. By the way, three things that he's done and resources. He's given energy, he's given time, okay, and he's given capital, which means he spends money to make money. He spent a little money to make a lot of money. He gives time so he can own his time back. He gives energy so that he can have a great life, okay? meet him right now. He's unbelievable. He should change your life. This podcast right here should change your life and your game. Woo! You should recreate, take a hard right. <laughs> if you need help or if you want to see the same platform he trains on, text me 918-210-0254. Jeff, until next year, let's go, baby. Woo! Woo! Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.